Right, now we've got to take off this ring and this ring here. Oh, that came off easy. Now that's the bearing. Now, just let me get a piece of paper towel. Back again. Is that going to focus? Hmm. Yeah, it should be focusing. This is very badly pitted. In fact, it's got a groove in it. I've never seen one like that before. Does that work better like that? Can you see here? There's actually a step in here. It should be parallel, so I don't know whose bearing that was. Mm, looks like a Chinese one. It says HPRJ2032. Uh, 23, sorry, dyslexic. So that's that off. Next thing we've got to get this collar off here. Oh, wait a minute, somebody's... Right, so the next thing, the phones keep going on all day, but I've got to ignore it because it's a, an annoying call. <laughs> right, next thing. Got to get this collar off here. And I do believe that we can use the same tool again. Can we? Yeah. Yeah, we can use this again. I haven't done one of these for about two years. <coughs> I'm sure they haven't changed all of them. Well, that didn't take long, but it got it off. That's the main thing. Uh, yeah, that one's... It's in better condition, but it's not the best. No marks on it. Must be a good one. Next! There's a split collar on here, held in by a ring. There's the ring. There's the collar. That's the other bit. So that's good. That's that off. Next thing, we've got to take off this nut on the bottom of here. Alright, so this is stalked over, and if I look in my back bag of tricks, I think I should have a little chisel point that uh, we'll take that off. Let's see. I'll just pause this. Actually I don't have a chisel, I've just got a little uh, screwdriver bit and I've sharpened up to the right length and I'm going to put it in that groove and open out where it's tabbed over. That one, and there's two. There we go. That's them. Next, we'll get a socket and take it off. Right, we'll take the nut off. I've jammed a bit of rag between the two gears. Some people say jam the two gears together. But, um, I find this a lot better. Don't get your fingers in it. That was easy, wasn't it? Now is that going to come off? This this usually just slides off. Oh, wait a minute! Look at the filter. Look at that. And of course, because it was broken, it wasn't actually doing anything. Dear me! Now that should just pull off there. I wonder if it will just tap off with the hammer. Ah, there we go. I think it should do. Oh, we want that bit. We're in the box. Now we can start to disassemble this section here. So there's our 
gear. We'll take off the bearing and we'll put it into there. The next thing we've got to get off, or we can take that to synchro ring out. We'll keep them all in order so we know which way they go back in. All right. Now, at the moment that's that's in gear, but we need to get this uh, ring off. This split ring. Oh man, it's so gummy. I wonder if it was bad to change. Yeah, we need to get that off. That split. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. So everything's sort of black, but we've got to get that off. Uh, that requires my special. Um, circuit pliers, we'll put that in the bag over there, we've dropped the bear in, it doesn't really matter because we're going to put new ones in anyway. Uh, that's an internal one, so an external one. Now sometimes when I do these I actually destroy the clips because you never put two back in again. Sometimes just getting these into the holes is a... Hmm. There should be a nice snug fit into there but... Oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> well this split... This, this uh, circuit's proving a bit difficult. <coughs> See, I'm breaking it out, but uh, it's kind of stuck. See what I mean? It's stuck in that bit there. Mm. Sometimes you get problems like this. This is why locking circuit pliers are handy to have. Gonna go. Is it buggery? These are the problems you have sometimes. And to tweeze out circlips. Is that yeah that stretched as far as it'll go. That goes in the bin. You can see how it's stretched. That's gone. So we won't need those for a while. Next thing we should be able to take this assembly off in one big piece. We've got to turn the selector Where do we turn the selector? That's right. Okay, let's get this because this is a confusing bit, and it's dirty, so you you have a hard time seeing it. So there's the selector. All right, the little shuttle. Remember, the thin bit goes towards the gearbox itself. The thick bit goes towards the aluminium bit. Now there's a pin here. I'll turn this and then you'll be able to see it. You can see the pin there. You see it? What we've got to do is put it into that position and then we're going to pull that assembly off in one big lump, if it will. Just be careful and keep your fingers around the synchro and pull that piece off. There we go. You might have to sort of wiggle it a bit, it'll come. There we go. This is absolutely filthy, might need a bit of a persuasion. Because there might be a little bit of a burr where the hole is for the grub screw. So we've got that bit off, we're going to keep that piece all together. We'll look at all these pieces individually. 
Right, that's that off. Next thing, we'll take the gears off. So that fits with that bit. I'm going to take the ring off. With the, with the bearing in, take, put that into there. There's the sleeve. Put these all together. So we lose them as one big unit. There we go. And then this bit should come off. Should just slide off. Is it? Is it going to slide off? Seems to be some something on there that it doesn't like. It should just slide. Let's see if we can persuade it off. That's tricky because we need to get that out to get all the rest of it off. Hmm. What on earth is holding that on? That's a little tap with it. Pry bar. Damaged tooth, or I'll get some brake cleaner out, and I'll clean that up. Oh, sorry, you moved it, and you couldn't really see. So I'm trying to get this this off. It should should just drop off. Get some brake cleaner out. Well, this is odd. It won't come off. And despite, uh, I think it's something to do with the spline somewhere. Because I've run a file around the top of the spline, so it must be somewhere internal. Because it only gets to there. I don't know why. I wonder if I could warm it up a little bit. I mean, it's not very good to warm gears up, but if we can just put a heat into it might get some more. I'll see if I can get a big pry bar and pry it out. <coughs> oh, these things are set to try us. That is tight on the spline. I don't know how I'm going to get it off. It doesn't have to go that much more, but why is it tight? Why is it tight? Mm -hmm. Have I got something that will go around there and pull that off? I don't think so. Let me have a look and see if I've got a puller. Well, I've rigged up a little two-legged puller. I'm having to pull on the tooth, which I don't like, but I just can't get into it, but it seems to be doing the job. So it is doing the job. Hmm. What's so funny about? <laughs> I 
really need an assistant. Or a better puller. <laughs> there it goes. We'll have a look at that. We might have to horn with a horning stone down inside these uh, splines. I think it's in the bottom of the spline, but we'll look into that in a minute. So, the tools are sort of mounting up on the bench now. The next thing we've got to do is get this stripped down. That's, that next bit's kind of easy. We should really put it into, a, into the stand to take the cover off. We might just do that, I don't know, it depends what where the weather's blowing, wind's blowing. But what we've got to do now is take out this plug here and try and retrieve the spring and the ball and take this plate off here, which is the retention plate for your selectors. We can easily do that. This. Now we need a little screwdriver just to get that started to lift it up. There we go. We'll put those screws back into there. If it will. There we go, so there's the little selector. Uh, socket for there. Right. Again, get into the habit of blowing the screws out, you know, the holes. This is a T, T40. Now we might lose the ball, there's the spring. I used to have a little magnet that fitted in there but the bloody thing's disappeared, I don't know where it's gone to. Anyway, it doesn't matter, we'll find it on the bench, it'll float around somewhere. Right, let's get this back here a bit. Let's clean up some of this oil slip. Some of these tools away. Right. Now that should split. Uh, I'm just thinking whether to put it on the stand or not. I'll tell you what, I'll try and split off the casing first to get it apart. We'll put some bolts in just to keep it together. I know that sounds crazy, but we can split the gasket without it falling apart. That would be really, really nice. And then we can put it on the stand. I think that's the best idea. Now there are not many places on here to use a pry bar, unfortunately. Um, we can tap it here on this lug, but we'll have to be careful. Oh, that's not too bad. Look at that. Hey, look at this. Available in the shops. In my shop, anyway. This is what we made them for. Getting into here. Prime a bit. You see there's dowels up here, so we progressively work up to get it off the dowel. We do not want to damage that casing at all. Yeah, it's tight on this dowel. You can see as we're moving it apart, the, the dismantling tool comes out. There we go, that's one. And again, we've come across the bolt now, so this piece isn't going to go... 
side and wherever it goes. Let's come off that side. That's against there. That down's coming off there. It's bleeding profusely now. Look at the state of that oil. Throw them over next to those fence. Let me get the stand out. Mm -hmm.